What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it is Azazel and I have some Black Ops 2 gameplay for you today and I want to go ahead and let you know that the topic I'm going to be approaching today is a very serious topic in which I'm going to be giving my opinion. It is an opinion, okay, as simple as that. And I'm also going to be talking about the double standards that revolve around this opinion as well as a few other things about it. So to get right into it, I want to talk about rape culture. Now for those of you who may not know what rape culture means, let me read what the Wikipedia definition of rape culture is. Rape culture is a concept that links rape and sexual violence to the culture of a society, and in which prevalent attitudes and practices normalize, excuse, tolerate, and even condone rape. Examples of behaviors commonly, commonly associated with rape culture include victim blaming, sexual objectification, trivializing rape, denial of widespread rape, or refusing to acknowledge the harm of certain forms of sexual violence that do not conform to certain stereotypes of stranger or violent rape. Now, I want to talk about this, and I want to talk about how, first and foremost, I do not condone rape. I believe that rape is an unforgivable crime. It is an offense that cannot be made up for. I have a personal belief that rape is more disgusting and foul and awful than even murder. And that's just a personal opinion because a rape is something that the victim has to live with forever. There's no getting around that. That person will live with that for the rest of her life or his life. We're going to talk more about the female being raped by a male because it kind of goes in line with what I want to talk about. Now, first and foremost, I do believe that there is a rape culture in a lot of countries, especially male dominant countries. We still do live in a society in the United States where women are not treated equally in a lot of ways, equal pay, equal rights and things like that still kind of come up. You know, it happens in 2014 and it is very sad. It's very disgusting. And I can't believe that it still goes on. But as long as this country is run by fat, rich, old white men, that's going to keep happening. But eventually those fat, rich, old white men will die, and hopefully they will not pass on that bullshit to the younger generation. As I said, I do believe that it is out there, and I do believe that it is a big thing. However, I do believe that it has gone too far in some respects. Let me explain. Someone on Facebook, a friend of mine, posted a status one day saying that this girl who had appeared in an adult film, a porn, uh, then committed suicide and blamed the porn industry for her suicide. The article I read blamed the, the porn industry and so did the person that posted the article. And I disagreed because I said, no, personal accountability. The woman is an adult. She made that decision. She knew what she was getting herself into. She has to sign a contract, go through blood tests, all this stuff. So in order for her to actually appear in that adult film, it was probably weeks or months before she could actually do it. That's a lot of time to go back and say, you know what? I'm not going to do this. Well, lo and behold, the woman committed suicide, not because she was in a porn, but because when people in her very small hometown found out that she was in a porn, they bullied her. No one held that woman accountable for her decision and didn't hold the people accountable for making fun of her to the point where she killed herself, which is extreme. That's a whole subject in and of itself. I'm not going to get into that much more, but I'm just going to say that this the whole point of this article was to talk about how the, the porn industry objectifies women and it promotes rape culture. I do not agree with that. I do agree that there are some extreme forms of porn out there, but whatever. Shit happens. What I am trying to say is that we should be held more accountable for our actions. Everyone. Man, woman, child, everyone. Yes, these things that I've talked about, objectifying people, objectifying women, they can promote this rape culture. But I see some people that use rape culture as an excuse to be an asshole. All right, like for example, Zoltan sent me some tweets the other day on Father's Day saying that there were women who were saying that, that we should get rid of Father's Day because it promotes rape culture and because it promotes patriarchy. That's bullshit. That is, I'm very sorry to sound stereotypical here, that's just a bunch of women with some fucking daddy issues that can't work out their own shit. 
And that, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, women. You are just going to have to deal with it. Father's Day is for the fathers out there who are good for what they do, they've done, for raising their children or even children who aren't theirs. Good people. Not for you to say, fuck men. Which is not feminism, by the way. Saying screw men is not feminism. I'm sorry. Women who say that are wrong. So this has been Azazel2012. Let me know what you think if you know anything on the subject. Share your opinion with me. Let me know what you got. You guys take it easy. It's been Azazel.